The bounty is collected in Wonder Woman issue 29. Learning of Crawford's betrayal of Diana, Steve disobeys orders and leaves Mega Ultra Tech to find Diana and help her. Elsewhere, Diana and Etta battle the five assassins who have come to collect the bounty on her head. The assassins aren't working together however as Cheshire attacks Abolith so he doesn't stop Diana before she can. Eventually Diana and Etta defeat all of the assassins, learning that Plastique was the one who helped Crawford bomb the wedding. Plastique says that she doesn't know who ordered the bounty, but they have contact information in her phone on a secure app. As they finish up with Plastique, Steve arrives, apologising for not being there sooner. Later on, the team meet and discuss Crawford's gene splicing experiments and how Diana was to factor into them, since a new drug with the healing properties of Wonder Woman could make billions for the pharmaceutical company that makes it. Asking if her DNA really could cure diseases like cancer, Diana is told that it is very possible it could. Leaving, Diana travels around Washington, looking to the patrons to guide her path and help her make a choice in what to do. The patrons, however, don't answer her. Unable to contact them or even her mother, Diana doesn't know what to do. Getting a message from the others, Diana returns to the base and tells them that she will go directly to the person who offered the bounty and collect it herself. The team have discovered the bounty came from a geneticist named Hamilton Revere, who has begun working on many cures for many of the world's diseases. Steve and Edda don't like the idea of Diana handing herself over, but their commander denies them from helping Diana in any way, leaving her to hand herself off to Hamilton alone. Going to his base, Diana confronts him, telling him that she wishes to be allies in his quest to help the world, but will regret it if him or his accompaniment of soldiers do anything against her. Wonder Woman issue 29 continued this really awesome and action-packed story by throwing in a rather cool twist that sees Wonder Woman offer herself up to the man behind the bounty on her head. I love that Diana is quick to realize that she can help more people if she actually gives herself up and in turn her DNA to this geneticist guy, but also doesn't seem to realize that it will have an effect on her relationship with Etta, who was already kind of on the warpath a little bit there thanks to these people bombing her brother's wedding and sort of disrupting her family, injuring her and almost killing her whole family. I can't wait to see where this story will be going from here and I know it's just going to get more and more interesting. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.